Special interview with Maryland Black Bears equipment manager Jackson Dolge right now. And Jackson, uh, welcome. You're in your first year here in Maryland. You're back at home. How has it been for you to come back? It's been awesome. Um, it's nice to kind of live at home and be able to work and have my first full-time job. Um, I get to bring the skills and knowledge I have of the industry and bring it to the team and, you know, try and help the players in a way that they haven't really had before um, and really get them dialed in so every time they step on the ice, they're as confident as possible. You're, you come from a playing background. What was the decision for you to go into this kind of behind-the-scenes situation as the equipment manager? Um, playing background is generous. I just <laughs> enjoyed being on teams and the sport in general. Mm -hmm. um, so I never played after high school. Um, in the middle of college, I kind of got, I had COVID and didn't have anything going on and I wanted to get involved back in hockey. So I emailed everyone at Penn State possible to get involved with their team. I said, I'll scrub your toilets, just get me involved. <laughs> um, and my now former boss, Ben Kogut, uh, reached out to me, um, offered to interview me for an equipment manager position, um, to work under him. And I started doing that, fell in love with it. And, you know, here I am four years later. You re you don't regret a dang thing, do you? Even if you did scrub that toilet, you, as long as you were with the team, huh? No, there's some long <laughs> nights where you question your decisions a bit, um, but I love it. I love being around a hockey team, um, being able to help the boys. And, you know, for an equipment manager, you're kind of in the locker room a lot. You're working directly with the players um, from a different side that coaching usually does. Um, and I kind of love what I do for that. What's the biggest thing that you think that the players appreciate that they may not tell you or they may tell you that you think you accomplish well with them? Um, I hope one thing for them is skate sharpening. Um, that's something that uh, real good equipment managers take great pride in. Um, everyone will say they're the best sharpening out there, but who knows if you actually <laughs> are. Um, so hopefully every time they're on the ice, they're able to be confident in their skates because um, really that's just an extension of your body. Most equipment in hockey is just an extension of your body, but skates for the most part are really what you're on all the time and you're moving around. So hopefully when they're out there, um, they don't need to worry about that one bit. What's your biggest pet peeve as an equipment manager, whether it be with the players or with the distributors themselves? Um, <laughs> there's a lot of places I can go with that. I think it's just you got to be a little organized. Um, you know, if you're not organized as an equipment manager or as a team, it's very difficult to do the job. Um, every day your room gets a little messy and unorganized. You got to clean it up at the end so that when something happens in an emergency situation, you know where everything is at a blink of an eye and you can repair or fix it as quickly as possible. Uh, now you're a big music guy too. Uh, there's uh, possibly some playlist out on SoundCloud right there. What's the biggest thing for music to you in the connection to you and in, in your everyday life? I've loved music since I grew up. Um, I played drums and guitar in my free time, which I don't have a lot of right now, but um, I've always enjoyed going to concerts. Um, and it's just always kind of spoken to me a little bit. Um, I've really opened up what I've listened to over the past five years. So I used to only be a rock guy, but now I'll listen to anything from rock, country, rap, um, pop stuff. So it's just nice to have it on in the background, especially when you're working 10, 12 hour days sometimes. It kind of helps the day move along. Okay. Is that a big disconnect between you and, and the kids is the type of music you guys enjoy? It's surprisingly not. There's okay. some guys in there that walk into my office and they're like, this is a great song. I'm like, this song came out before you were born. It came out before <laughs> I was born. Um, but it's cool being down there. I don't always get along with what they're listening to in the locker room, but you kind of tone it out and just enjoy it. You guys are on back-to-back -back road trips right now. What's the biggest thing for a road trip, especially when you're, you know, you're kind of out of place, you're not in your own area, try to get acclimated to everything? For me, it's having a standardized packing list. Um, if you know what you bring on every road trip and you know that you have what you need um, based on the resources you have, that's the most you can do. And having everything organized, you know, I, I've bags labeled and pockets labeled for what's where so that even if I can't grab something and I have to tell a scratch or an intern or a coach, hey, can you go grab this for me to speed everything up? They know what they're looking for. Um, so everything is about organization and making sure you have everything as you go on the road. Have you been roped into the table tennis games too? Are you, uh, are you the table tennis guy now? I played one about a week ago, so I don't have a lot of time. That right, sure. chirps me for not playing. I don't have enough time because I'm actually working the whole time I'm here. I'm like Clint who's busy playing table tennis. Um, I played one against Will a week ago, uh, probably lost, but then Clint's yelling at me that I'm just too scared to play him. 
We'll he's, he said you were making your own paddle out of wood that you take from the backwoods. Is that true? No, he just okay. lies. Okay, he, just right. lies. he, he said was, it was called Wonder Boy. Yeah. I was confused. And he can start talking more to me once he beats me at golf. That's kind of a big oh, thing. Wow, okay. And I'll, I'll take him on the golf course any day and, you know, table tennis, I'll leave for him. Let him have something. There we go. The challenge is laid down. Jack, Jackson Dole, you have the Maryland Black Bears.